Hi guys, this is M from Melange of Words and today I'm going to talk to you about a special video, uh, the special video being what's in my hospital bag. Right now I am at the end of my 34th week of pregnancy, um, so in the thick of my third trimester but also quite close to the finish line and this is the ideal time that I should probably or anybody who's pregnant uh, should have their hospital bag packed. This is the hospital bag that uh, has most of my stuff. Uh, if required additionally I might carry a smaller backpack or a smaller handbag to keep other things that uh, don't fit into this bag but right now this is jam-packed and I'm just gonna walk you through what are the things I consider essential to have. When it came to packing stuff for my hospital bag, I did do a bit of research because I'm a first time mom and I really don't know uh, or I didn't know too much about what would be considered essential to take to the hospital and what the hospital might provide for me um, after labor. So uh, what I did was first things first, I did go onto Google and I did a search for what people pack in their hospital bag. So I did uh, refer to a website called thebump.com and I found that very useful um, wherein they mentioned what are the necessary things to carry in a hospital bag. I also did go through some YouTube videos on the same uh, to figure out what other people were doing. So, uh, you know, with all of that kept in mind, I have uh, these these things packed right here and I'm going to just start showing you what I have inside. This is uh, I think a bigger size like a weekend kind of duffel bag and I think that's very important. Carry a small suitcase or a duffel bag or something which can carry a good amount of stuff because you will need it. Um, so let's see what I have in here. I'm just going to start pulling things out. The first thing here that I've packed is this pouch and I believe this has my personal goodies. Uh, so I have a few of these wipes. These are actually baby wipes uh, and this is by the brand 7th generation which is like a non-toxic clean brand and this came free in one of my welcome boxes which I got um, when I uh, signed up for a baby registry so this has 10 wipes in it and um, it's like made for sensitive skin baby skin is very sensitive and it's fragrance free it has zero percent of alcohol I plan to use this either if required on hand for baby or for myself even uh, because I know that after labor it might be a little hard to take a bath immediately or something so I might use this maybe to wipe my face and body because if it's good enough for baby I'm sure it's good enough for me mama so this is one of the items I've packed in my personal goodies I also have a few nursing pads uh, like these I have quite a few in there probably around 8 to 10. This is by the brand called Lanceno and I got uh, this pack of 100 uh, nursing pads on Amazon.com uh, and it came for a, like a affordable price I think. Um, I haven't tried these yet um, because I don't have any leaking or anything so far in my third trimester. So I've kept this uh, to use in case I start feeding in the hospital immediately and you know I need to keep my uh, chest uh, area kind of like dry. I also have this small um, ziploc kind of pouch and I've packed it with um, like how it was hygiene essentials I would say. Like I have um, a face wash in here, travel size face wash. I have a travel size uh, set of fill moisturizer for the face and body. I have a lip balm in here. I have a, a toothbrush in here and a small toothpaste in here. I don't think I'm carrying any makeup to the hospital because I cannot see myself really 
uh, wearing any makeup you know like post labor and or, or like when you're coming back home i know many people do that many women tend to wear like going home outfits and like looking all pretty with makeup but somehow i don't think i'll do it so based on that uh intuitiveness i just didn't carry any makeup here just the bare minimum hygiene essentials i also have um this kopari deodorant which i just got very recently i haven't yet tried it actually but um, i've heard really good things about it it's uh, safe for use while pregnant and also while nursing uh, it is free from aluminum and also from baking soda which i've heard can trigger allergic reactions to, for sensitive skin i have really sensitive skin so this is good for that this is also vegan and cruelty free this is the original coconut scent and it smells really good i did dab a little bit on my wrists and it smells really really nice it smells very really refreshing so i think this is going to be a great deodorant in that way i also got this uh, kopari's lip glossy it's actually like a lip balm but uh, like a non sticky lip glossy kind of lip balm which can also be used as a topper on uh, above your lipstick I use this today on my lips uh, as a lip balm and it's it feels really comfortable to use. I've heard that when you're in the hospital during labor your lips tend to feel really chapped and dry. So I wanted something uh, really like moisturizing and like feels a little tacky and heavy. So I have this the other lip balm that I have is Hara lip balm which is also like a clean brand and that's also really good. So yeah, I have these for my um hygiene essentials. I'm sorry, my bag dropped. Um I have this Earth Mama organic nipple butter in here. Yeah, this is the Earth Mama's organic nipple butter with no petroleum, parabens or artificial fragrance. This is uh, breastfeeding safe obviously. Um, this is used on your nipples because I heard like nipples get chapped and you know they bleed very fast when you nurse and um, I don't want any of that to happen it might but uh, it's best to be preventative so I have this nipple butter here from Earth Mama Organics I got this off of Amazon.com uh, apparently it can also be used on your lips cheeks heels and cuticles anywhere dry skin happens so that's awesome i have a rubber band here to pull my hair back in case i don't know i'm not wearing one or i've lost one and i also have some sample uh, nursing pads from philips and one from lancino as well these again i got from my free uh, baby registry welcome boxes and what is this okay i have another wipe situation going on here this is pampers sensitive wipes this is also like a sample pack moving on i have another pouch here and this one has uh baby stuff like small very i've kept a very little amount of baby stuff here really um because i know that the hospital will be providing me with diapers uh when i get there so i'm not really concerned about that um so i have some things from my end which is like a going home uh our situation so i have this um like a bib uh, or a wipe cloth burp cloth kind of thing here uh, this is from gerber this is a gerber baby collection this uh, i got off target.com this has like this kind of a printed side like a soft cotton side and a the terry cloth side i have two tiny little mittens here um this is for baby's hands because i know babies have like sharp nails um newborns they have like really sharp nails i don't want her to scratch herself or scratch me or like you know in any kind of scratching to happen so to prevent that i've got uh these like mittens i've also packed a pair of two tiny like a pair of tiny little socks for baby baby's feet in case you know it's like a little chilly for her or something i've got these like really tiny newborn socks um i have a small onesie 
which again I got free in my welcome box from my baby registry this is what it looks like it's really tiny by the way it's for zero to three months and it's kind of ticklish for me to see the size uh, so there's that one and I also have a very small newborn uh, size uh, like button side snap t-shirt a white one uh, it came in a pack of three I think this is again from the brand Gerber and this is a newborn size it's so small I know and has like these side snap buttons I chose side snap personally uh, I paid attention to that uh, while picking baby clothes because um, baby's head is like really fragile the neck muscles are not developed yet I don't want to really you know uh, give myself an anxiety attack uh, not knowing how to you know handle that so I just got a side snap uh, kind of a situation clothing situation just so that you know I feel less anxious while clothing the baby and uh, that's what I have in the baby's going home kind of um, pouch next up I have this swaddle blanket here with zebra prints it's really cute uh, this is a muslin cotton 100% muslin cotton swaddle um, which came uh, with my welcome box and um, it's it's really soft and nice it seems of really good quality um, and swaddles are used I think uh, for newborns especially for womb simulation like that kind of feel so they're wrapped snugly into the uh, swaddle and um, it can also be used as a receiving blanket like the moment that the baby is born they can just use this maybe if you give it to them they'll use this to wrap it around that tiny bundle of joy and they might give it to you in your hand so this is for this can be used as a receiving blanket as a swaddle even as a nursing cover I've heard uh, but I intend to use this as a receiving blanket or a swaddle more than a nursing cover always remember to choose like a muslin cotton linen kind of situation more so than any other fabric when it comes to handling baby skin because it's breathable and since I'm due next month and uh, it's starting to get kind of warm already I want to keep that in mind while I you know wrap or clothe baby in any any kind of fabric like that I have these um, maxi pads actually I have a few the hospital will be providing me with maxi pads I think but I still chose to pack some from my end in case they fall short uh, or some or some some kind of unforeseeable situation happens I have these maxi pads and uh, these will be used to prevent excessive bleeding or anything like that that happens which is quite common um, after labor so I've got these maxi pads I also packed quite uh, an amount of these kind of disposable underwear these are incontinence underwear you can put the maxi pad in these and you can use them they are like very breathable stretchy kind of uh, disposable underwear perfect for uh, like either a, like a normal vaginal birth or a post c-section these are really good you can find these on amazon.com like a pack of I don't know 18 plus or something like that so if you search for disposable incontinence underwear uh, you will get that I have my maternity or like my not maternity but like my postpartum clothes that I think would be a good option to have on hand I have this um, maxi nighty in India it's like um, it's worn a lot during summer uh, especially these maxi nighties are like cotton and they're really breathable they also have a zipper situation here so it's easy to nurse in them you just zip it down and you can pull it aside and nurse and they're really comfy um, and I got like in a very big size my mom sent this to me actually from India these are in a really big size these are cotton and really breathable and I think very easy to nurse in and even to move around after labor because uh, because it's a maxi night it's flowy it won't put any kind of chafing on your abdomen or your lower part of your body so it's really good for that 
I also have uh, two pairs of these hospital socks, which, which are also like the bar socks, B-A-R-R-E, the, the workout kind of socks, because they have these grippy uh, things at the bottom, like this. So why I chose these as hospital socks is, I've heard like they grip really well to the floor, so you don't slip and fall. I mean, you've just undergone something really big. You don't want that to happen so uh, I have like two pairs of hospital socks in case my feet get really cold and I want to change into like uh, comfy socks maybe to walk around in or anything like that uh, I have these these are from the brand called Rative or Rative I don't know I got this on amazon.com um, I have a gown um this is like uh you know the tying kind of robe gown this was marked in amazon as a nursing gown so i got this um this is like easily like the tie around your waist kind so you can just easily untie it and feed the baby you know you can cover yourself um like if you're uncomfortable with wearing something very like flimsier on the top maybe immediately you can just cover up with this and also create if you're feeling really cold in the hospital this is made of like a soft jersey kind of situation and i think i sized up while getting this so that you know it's not too tight i similarly also packed um a cardigan uh this one is like a one size cardigan uh which i got um in this fab fit fun box it's by the brand called donny and uh, it's like a very neutral gray kind of uh, cardigan with stripes running over it. It's nothing great to speak of, but it's it's pretty comfortable and loose for me to wear. Even right now in my third trimester, it's very like flowy. Nothing like cinching uh, your body or anything like that. I have um, these two pairs of nursing bras, uh, which I got off Amazon again. And um, I, I chose these darker colors on purpose, you know, in case, again, like I said, uh, if I start to nurse immediately and, you know, I don't want to be leaking all over. And if, if I do leak, uh, you know, the, the darker color will kind of cover it up. So I have just two pairs because I know the hospital stay wouldn't be around two to four days. So I have two nursing bras. Uh, next up, I have a few more things to go. I have this nursing cami which I got which is like this so it's a nursing cami uh, as the name suggests it's meant for uh, nursing your baby and it can be worn like with a cardigan on top in case you're not comfortable with sleeveless or uh, that kind of a situation uh, the thing about nursing top versus like a regular old cami is that nursing ones have this clip here which you can un you can just latch it off and if you pull it down and you can pull it up again post nursing that's why nursing bras and nursing camis like they created especially just for the latch situation and for this one again i sized up uh, uh like compared to what i wear usually Next up, I have this um, loose, very, very loose, baggy workout tank top, actually, which I, you know, used to wear pre-pregnancy. It was pretty comfy and loose then. Right now, in my third trimester, it's kind of like, you know, belly skimming, but still very comfortable. This is very loose around the uh, shoulders. So you can ease, I feel like I can easily pull it down and I can... Uh, feed and pull it up again. It's 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 a very comfy soft worn in kind of material and it cost me less than five dollars um, And I got this uh, at Walmart actually uh, I also packed a pair of very comfortable like uh, pajamas. These are like striped uh, Pajamas that are worn in actually I wore this pre-pregnancy something I packed just in case you know I I feel like I want to wear pajamas or something and finally, I have um, a going home dress. I don't know if I will even wear this, but I just still packed it because I had it. This is actually a very uh, loose 
kind of a button down, button down dress which I got from Shein last year and this is meant to be worn like especially around summer time it's very breathable it's it's a nice color it looks I feel like it look nice where this is a going home outfit I can unbutton it easily uh, it is not body hugging at all like I said it's very flowy and it's a midi length which is perfect for me in case I feel uncomfortable wearing short clothes um, other than these things um, I'll also be carrying my wallet um, with my driver's license um, cards some cash cash just in case that uh, my husband needs to get something and you know uh, it's only a cash only vending machine or something like that for him I have some cash thrown into my wallet and I'll be carrying my wallet there obviously for any insurance or paperwork for which my identification would be needed um, Additionally, I don't know if I am carrying this item, but I think it would be a good option. Uh, this is a nursing pillow. This is from the brand Boppy, which is very highly rated. I got this on Amazon. Um, and um, this can be used for up to one year. As it says, it can be used for feeding, propping, tummy time and sitting. But obviously for me, the first choice to use is, is for feeding. Uh, it makes it very easy for the mom to not have to bend over, you know, and cause any abdominal pressure. You can just keep the baby there gently and you can feed. And also prevents a lot of strain on your back and your shoulders. As for food and um, any kind of snacks, I personally don't know what I'm going to do for myself. I might carry some for my husband who will be coming with me um, and if I do carry something for myself it might be something very easily digestible like a fruit or something like apple maybe or a banana I am not taking a breast pump with me uh, because my uh, gynecologist did tell me that um, the hospital will be providing me with their hospital grade uh, pump to use while I'm there so once I'm back home I'm free to use mine We've got our car seat attached already into our car. So that's very important here in the US uh, is that when you go to the hospital, you need to have your car seat in place because without which they will not let you bring the baby home. Uh, it's very important for the safety of the baby while coming back home. Um, as for other things to other tips to consider, I'm going to be uh, either wearing or carrying a, like a comfy pair of slippers. Uh, nothing fancy because I think maybe my feet might be swollen or something like that and I don't want any fancy shoes where I can't fit my feet into so something like slide sandals or a pair of flip-flops are a good option I think I'll probably drop the links to these products in the description box in case you're interested in getting the same and you're in the US I, r I know right now with COVID-19 going on it's going to be hard to get these kind of things uh, in maybe India where it's in a complete lockdown and you cannot have any access to any shopping sites but in the US right now thankfully online shopping is a great option right now and um, the ones I've listed here are from Amazon and Target and they do ship pretty fast in case you're worried and you're thinking whether, I'll, whether you'll be able to get it uh, for me these shipped out very fast uh, I received all my items within two weeks of ordering so that should tell you how fast it came to me create a registry on Amazon and on Target because you do get uh, the option to get these free uh, welcome kits and they send you like valuable stuff like uh, sample sizes of a baby shampoo baby body wash baby body lotion baby wipes uh, small packs of baby diapers maybe because I know right now that diapers are kind of hard to get thankfully the hospital will be providing me with some and I have like very very small sample sizes of these diapers so in case I come home and I immediately need them I have something in hand and you also get like diaper discounts um, you also get like a general total uh, merchandise discount like maybe 15% off or so uh, which Trust me, it actually helps you save a good amount of money when you tally up everything. Uh, baby items are not cheap by any stretch. And it can be confusing. I'm still pretty confused as to whether I've gotten everything that I do need necessarily for the baby, you know, without being a little extravagant. Pre-register at the hospital. Um, 
this will save you a lot of time when you go into labor and you get to the hospital you don't have to spend all that time filling out your paperwork because you've already pre-registered keep these tips in mind if you're in the same boat as me um, I know it's this is a hard time to consider giving like to give birth in with the pandemic and all um, but you know we are women we are strong we can pull through uh, and give birth to beautiful babies even in adversities uh, and that's uh, I'm gonna sign off on this hopeful note so yeah I hope you enjoyed uh, or you found this what's in my hospital bag video useful um, I don't know when I'll come up with my next video but uh, I hope to see you soon and yeah take care bye